Hey everybody, it's Oscar Sketches. Uh, I was kind of debating not uploading this week because I've not been feeling like really well and <laughs> also wasn't quite sure what to think of this week, like whether it was, um, you know, good enough I guess to upload. Uh, but you know, then I, then I um, thought about that, you know, because like, I want to be transparent in, um, you know, what I, what I show, what I go through. Um, I don't know if that makes any sense, but I don't want to push away the bad and not think about the bad. <laughs> not that I was that bad of a week, um, but right now, which is not doing the greatest. Um, I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore. <laughs> it's just like I, I'll, I'll just read through my notes real quick and and um, yeah, we'll see what happens. Um, yeah, because you know, from what I recall, it wasn't like a it wasn't a bad week by any means, but just um, maybe just today. You know, maybe maybe me not feeling great today is tainting <laughs> how I saw last week. <laughs> Whatever. Um, anyway, uh, <laughs> on Friday I uh, I did have a hard time getting up. Uh, I stayed in bed for a while uh, and it was, was it was kind of difficult to, to get out. Just executive dysfunction and stuff. Uh, eventually I did manage to drag myself to bed and work on YouTube for a little bit. A bit of voiceover, a bit of editing. I went to therapy. Um, therapy is getting a little bit uh, harder because uh, right now we're working on a, a timeline, I guess, of my life. Um, most importantly, of all the things that uh, have been painful or traumatic for me. And um, once we have the whole timeline, we're going to figure out which um, memories and such to target for uh, the EMDR therapy. Um, but it's a, uh, it's a lot to remember everything in such a you know, or like not just remember but just go back I guess and, and think about how I felt during that time things like that, and just I uh, get this whole like wave of uh, uh, loneliness and fear and shame so much shame. <laughs> So when you like old coping mechanisms and stuff and emotions I didn't know how to deal with back then sadness grief everything so it's it's been a lot it's been a lot I um, then I stayed up late sewing uh, and trying out this uh, small panther pattern that I have uh, been working on uh, I think I, I just cut uh, the pieces out and um, like, uh, I tried sewing some together, uh, but there was a, one of the fabrics was being really annoying, curling up too much, so I couldn't even cut it or like sew it properly. <laughs> so I uh, had to start again with a different kind of fabric. Uh, on Saturday, I, uh, <laughs> had a, I had a plan to go to the garden center with a friend to, to buy some new plants, new pots. Um, what happened instead is that friend, we had a, a communication error, so she was under the impression that we would be going next week. Um, and I was under the impression that we were going that week. Um, so that was unfortunate. Uh, that came between our pl plans. Uh, then I was getting ready to go by myself because I, I wanted to go anyway. Um, and you know, if we, if we were going to go next week, I wanted to make sure that I knew the route, uh, and you know, maybe had a, a scope around to to check which plants I might want. Um, uh, so I I went downstairs to go do that. Got ready after <sighs> quite a while because I had trouble getting up that day as well. Um, and then I uh, <laughs> I uh, my sister asked where I was going, uh, and I told her, and she's like. Uh, and were you, you know, remotely interested? So I'm like, do you want, do you want to come along? Uh, 
uh, which you know expecting a no because she never wants to, <laughs> to come along for that sort of stuff but then she she said she did want to go um, but that would have to go in a couple hours so uh, I went back to my room and waited uh, more executive dysfunction just kind of you know waiting <laughs> I didn't really do much um, and uh, you know apart from like maybe doing a bit of looking around which, which kind of plants that I need and, and pots that I need and, and things like that um, and then uh, uh, when the time came it was raining um, and my, <laughs> my little sister suddenly didn't want to go anymore um, and so I, uh, I was like okay fine I'll wait until the rain's over which would be another hour um, <laughs> and I, I told my friend um, and she said that she was uh, uh, done a little bit quicker than expected with the studying um, so uh, uh, we did get to go together um, like an hour <laughs> an hour after that so we we did go to the garden centre which was good and nice um, and I enjoyed it very much uh, looking around at the, all the plants and um, picking out a couple getting uh, some pots I, I bought some ivy um, and she gave me a rare cutting of a variegated Monstera andersonii uh, Adansonii which is a really pretty plant um, I'm very excited about it but uh, um, all of this uh, <laughs> like uh, all these changes to the schedule uh, really like mess with my autism I guess like that costs a lot of energy so I was like kind of exhausted by the time I got back uh, so it was it was nice to go to the garden center I really really did enjoy that but it's uh, uh, the, all the, the whole day around it was very um, uh, uncertain uncertain uh, on Sunday I, uh, I went for a walk with my mum which was nice, uh, but afterwards we had a bit of miscommunication and uh, that had me very upset. Uh, after taking a break I was able to write down my feelings and why what had happened upset me so much and we were able to talk about it and I... And that felt very significant to me because I usually don't know what to say or how to cope with that. Um, yeah. I hate miscommunications too because it just it really really messes with me <laughs> like it costs me so much energy because I want to set everything right and I want to communicate as clearly as possible um, and it was just a, it was a difficult conversation regardless and then to have uh, you know miscommunication and a lot of emotion like upset it hard I don't want to get into the specifics of it, but I felt very guilty and ashamed. There's a lot of like, just a whole ball of emotions that I had to untangle. Which, you know, I didn't have any energy for, but I... Yeah, great. <laughs> On Monday, uh, I... Uh, <laughs> I picked up some uh, rare plant cuttings because I'm getting into variegated monsteras and I don't know if it's a good idea because they're really expensive but they're so pretty. <laughs> I'll show you next week with the plant update. Um, <laughs> I uh, I went with my, um, my little scooter uh, and I was way too late because I was getting ready to leave uh, and just as I walked outside uh, I got a very important phone call <laughs> so I had to stay on the phone for like 20 minutes before I could leave um, and then once I left uh, I uh, Google Maps sent me down like a really really impossible route almost like th I, I had to go through two forests <laughs> which I don't know what Google Maps was on but that wasn't like that slowed me down and that wasn't great for the scooter <laughs> I mean the scooter can handle it but it was um uh, it was it was a, a lot um and then you know the way back I picked the other route because there were two routes but they were both the like roughly the same time 
Uh, so I just picked the one that it was on by default. Uh, and that one sent me through so many weird, like, paths and passageways <laughs> and stuff. Um, but then the other one was like a, just a very normal route uh, and I got back within like 15 minutes so like, <laughs> oh, that was some fun uh, so I was really like stressed about getting there on time and uh, you know possibly getting scammed but it was fine I got the cuttings they're in great condition and I made it back so uh, <laughs> there is that there is that uh, and I, I really do like them and I'm very happy with them. Uh, I um, I drew some sketches uh, of some horse characters that I've been meaning to draw for a while. Uh, with For a while, I mean uh, over a year. Because <laughs> I, I designed, quote unquote, designed these characters. Uh, or like at least one of them I designed a year ago. In my head. <laughs> Um, but I, I never got around to drawing them on paper, so I guess like better, better late than never. Um, I, I didn't get very far, I just did a, a first sketch layer with like a, uh, used a reference photo to, uh, to help me get the proportions right and the pose. And then I, I scribbled some of the element, elemental designs on top. And I, I do, I, I, I do... I uh, really like them and I can't wait to finish them, but that might be another year before I get around to that. <laughs> um, I also subtitled a little bit of Metabox. Um On Tuesday I had a mindfulness appointment. I uh, designed some adults with a friend for a Palestine Relief Funds. Um, I subtitled five minutes of Metabots, I went for a walk, uh, I picked up my meds by myself uh, for the first time in forever, so that's cool. Uh, I also did a bit of shiny hunting, I probably got another shiny doduo, <laughs> um, but the wrong one, because I, I have like three shiny doduo and none of them are the one that I need now, <laughs> which is great. Um, <laughs> it was fun though, I like playing uh, Let's Go Eevee. Um, on Wednesday, I uh, had again a lot of executive dysfunction, plus a lack, uh, a lack of sleep, uh, plus stomach issues, and that was that it resulted in a, a lot of trouble getting up out of bed. Um, I eventually managed to drag myself out of bed and subtitle some Metabots uh, in a therapy, uh, and I did some more Metabots subtitling, and I, I wrote some some vent writing. Uh, and on Thursday. I spent pretty much all day on call with a friend, reading each other's stories. I uh, refreshed uh, the moss and perlite for my little greenhouse. Took some uh, ivy cuttings and set them up for propagating. Not sure if they'll grow, but very curious to see what will come out of them. And I had a movie night with another friend. Uh, yeah, so that that it was nice, I think. I, uh, I just, like, had fun reading and... Uh, but I do remember being very tired, um, and uh, I, I really like I have this little plastic greenhouse um, that I put some of my propagations into, uh, and I I really like how it how it looks. Uh, I, I I like the the plants that are inside. I just seem to be liking it because it's um, there's some like high humidity in there, um, which is good for propagations. Anyway, I am, as you can probably tell, I'm very tired, so I'm not going to film a, a plant update because there's a lot, lot to show, uh, and I want to show that next week, I think, if I get around to it. Um, yeah, I am happy that I did uh, record a little bit because I do want to, like, show this side as well because, you know, I am a little bit afraid of this, uh, you know, people watching these videos and being like, oh, sounds like you have, you know you just get to chill all day you just get to do the you know walk dogs and take care of plants and draw and stuff um <laughs> which that is true and i really like that about my life uh, but uh, aside from that i also have a lot of mental health issues and a lot of physical health issues like i'm in pain literally all the time uh i like 
and not just you know oh like my my one of my fingers hurts literally all the time no it's like every single muscle in my body hurts a lot all the time um and you know i have a brain that like doesn't want to function sometimes so i just sit and stare or like lie in bed for hours on end like uh, even though you know like like it doesn't matter how hungry i get i just physically cannot get up because my mind is just so stuck or you know i uh, i'm i'm dealing with with flashbacks all day every day uh, of like you know painful things that have happened to me uh my stomach hurts a lot and like so many stomach problems and i can't eat what i want to eat because i have to be very careful and you know eating is hard because i have an eating disorder so like i don't want to i don't want this to be like a, a trauma olympics type of thing i don't want to be complaining about oh my life is so hard my life is so much harder than yours blah 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 i don't want that um because you can't compare that sort of thing. Everybody's life is hard. <laughs> and that sucks. Um, I'm just trying to focus on the things that make me happy. Um, and the things that help me get out of bed when it's so hard. You know, like uh, like love joy music. I, I may put on uh, Wake Up and It's Over and that will help me break out of my executive dysfunction. Uh, you know... It's... I, I can't physically participate in society the way that I want to do because I can't go to school, I can't work. Um, and that may sound really nice, like, oh, you don't have to go to school ever, you don't have to work ever, but it's... It's really hard because my, my full-time job is managing my body, <laughs> my physical health, <laughs> and my mental health. like. My full-time job is, is managing my health and that's, um, I don't want that to be my full-time job. I want my full-time job to be drawing uh, or like designing, I, I don't know, film characters, game characters, uh, making cool assets, uh, uh, like making video games, making films, making stuff that I want to make. Um, and I want to do so much more because I, I feel like I have so much free time but I just have so little energy to do anything at all and you know because most of my day most of my days uh, is, is like getting up and recovering from getting up <laughs> and then you know by the time I'm able to, to get up uh, the day's almost over again and I have to go to bed again <laughs> and that results in me like you know not wanting to go to sleep staying up later having even poorer quality of sleep like it's really not fun <laughs> anyway I, I'm done being like sad and pessimistic whatever I Thanks for letting me complain, I guess, and for listening. I hope you like the horses, because I can't wait to finish drawing them. Um, and yeah. <laughs> Whatever, have a great weekend and keep on sketching or something. Subscribe if you want to listen to more misery. <laughs> nah, um, uh, I, I had a great week. Well, great week, I don't know if, the, if that's the right word for it. A better week. A better week for next week, I guess. So, <laughs> we'll see, I don't know. Aside from today, whatever. I ugh, doesn't matter. Um, keep on sketching. Bye. <laughs>